I am eyewitness to history. Jack Rogo wants others to know, and he decided to proudly wear the word. But it's the logo of the Pearl Harbor Survivor Association. These days, the 97-year-old travels to tell his story. Yeah, I was right out of high school when I went into military service. He was a 20-year-old at Naval Air Station Fort Island when Pearl Harbor was attacked. I was only about two or three streets or blocks away from the Arizona when it blew. And I'm out there looking at this and I'm seeing the dive bombing. I'm seeing the, the torpedo bombers coming through and this one aircraft came by very, very low. And, and that's when they asked for volunteers and that's when I volunteered. And they asked me to go down to the small boat dock. He says he did what he could, but so many needed help. They swam through oil infested water, their lungs and their coughing. December 7, 1941. It's a day he often thinks about. And I can say the Arizona is still burning. The Oklahoma's turned over. The California had sunk. The West Virginia was damaged. What he once saw on Battleship Row, he now shares with anyone who wants to listen. Memorial Day, he sat in front of students in New Zealand. This past Sunday, he was honored during the Seattle Mariners game. Oh, I got a, uh, a standing ovation, and I mean, I, you can't say it didn't affect me because it did. <laughs> it's more motivation to keep telling his story. I'll go as long as I can. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.